Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's sipping and ripping. And today we're going to start out with the sipping. We're going to be sipping vanilla porter out of Breckenridge Brewery in Colorado. Love porters. Good beer. I've had it before. So cheers, everybody. I think Line and Kugels has a pretty good vanilla porter, if I remember right. Um, but yeah. Good color. So cheers, everybody. That's what we're sipping on today. Beautiful. Beautiful color. So cheers. And we're going to be giving you, again, two of these. Let's see what we get. The reason why I'm doing these is because I'm trying to complete the master set of all of these. And you get both Series 1 and Series 2 in here, which is great. And then you get these cards that still go for a good amount, like a pretty decent amount. I'm going to do that series soon. This is going to go before making your money back series or after. Um, but yeah, you get a lot of inserts, you get a lot of good stuff out of there. If you've seen my previous videos, um, a lot of good stuff out of these boxes so they don't just give you crap. Um, but yeah, some of my favorite stuff to rip that and Bowman. Always some of my favorite. Um, Things for baseball drip. So let's see what we get out of this. And <laughs> this is actually not bad. I got a lot of these oversized cards. So this is actually pretty cool. I like that one. And Adley Rushman. So this is his short print, even though you think he's out for the season. Um, he's been just injured all year. Uh, just last year, look at that. When he was healthy, just really, really good. Proved it in the World Series and Tough games, you know, um, against those Diamondbacks, crushed it. So I'm hoping, hoping good things for Evan Carter coming up. I had him, drafted him in my fantasy league this year, I think 10th round. Um, yeah, not the best pick. Him and Bobby Miller were my <laughs> terrible picks. I picked Joe Musgroves too. Um, those were all like 8, 9, and 10. So that whole s rounds of 8, 9, and 10 were pretty bad. Could have done better. Pick Bregman over Henderson. Ugh, not good. Have some questionable things. Um, pick Albies over Aaron Judge. Should have just had Mookie Betts as my second baseman. But having the outfield... Aaron Judge was injury, coming off an injury from last year, and injury prone more, and then look who got injured this year, Albies. All right, let's get into it. Grand Gamers, Clayton Kirsch, I don't know if I need that one. Um, but yeah, I'm getting close with the Series 2. I'll make it all and then probably sell it right away. Don't know how much the master sets for each go for. I think like 400 bucks when I saw. But if you have like this, these two and update all in one, oof, we'll see. And then we get. Ooh, oh, ho, 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 ho. Ooh. Pretty. 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 That's what I'm saying. These things are always stacked. Like, that can go for, I don't know how much that Evan Carter goes for. Probably not much at this time because he's out. But let's just say he was actually playing and was doing average. That can go for, I don't know, who knows. But I think I probably could sell that for 10 bucks. Adley Rushman, oversized card, nothing. Maybe like three, four bucks. What is this about? That's super thick. Ah, whatever. We'll do it later. Because that is, I think, a thicker stocked card. But Alec Bohm having himself a season. Mother's Day pink out of 50. So sweet. Second pack in. Already hit Mother's Days. 
Let's go. I will take that. Randy, who is now not a Tampa Bay Ray. Randy Rosarina. Yeah, the Rushman. I actually need that. So cool. That's funny. I mean, I have tons of the stars of the MLB Series 1 cards. But he's the hard one for me to get. So I'll take that. That is sweet. I'm trying to think. Where did Randy Rosarina go to? Why can't I think of it? Mariners? Oh, man. I think it's the Mariners. It has to be the Mariners. So many, like Jazz Chisholm going to the Yankees. There's so many things that just happen. Kyle Tucker. I don't even know if I have this one. So that's what it is. Like, you're getting cards that you don't have. You go on eBay, buy these like a buck. Or you can go to my local card shop and get them for like 25 cents if they have them. But I already went through all their boxes. Plus, I kind of want to just pull it. I think it's more fun pulling the cards. Ooh, that's a good one. All by Marte. We'll sleeve that up just because I can. We'll put them up there. Steroids. Not steroids, PEDs. But yeah, I already like this box already. Um, Katsko's going low. Vargas just got traded. Um, oh boy. Where did he go to now? I just... There's so many going on. Retail Blue, Mason Wynn, Jake McCarthy. I think he's actually doing pretty decent now. Well, he just had a recent game. That's pretty decent. Uh, Cody Bellinger, backwards card. Rainbow Foil. Just sold a bunch of Retail Blue and Rainbow Foil lot on eBay. I think you got, like, after it all said and done, like 30 bucks from all these Costco things I've opened up. So that's pretty cool. Nickel and dam, nickel and dam. Can't express it that much or too much. Um, this guy's having himself a year, Lawrence Butler. Around the horn, Matt McLean. I think I have that one. And Sal Freelick. Jackson Chero is going off, finally. Not finally, but kind of knew it was going to be coming at some point. I just hope he didn't do like the Spencer Torkelson. Henry Davis got called up too soon. And it showed in the beginning, but now his plate discipline is just so much better. So get your Jackson Churros now because he's looking like the real, real thing. He's going to easily have a 2020 season. Could be more, 25 25. But yeah, I think in the beginning of the season, they're all saying, like, will Jackson Churro hit 2020? And for me, it was like I was on the edge, but now it's just looking like it's just going to be a cakewalk. I'm looking at 25-25. They don't want him to steal too much because of injury. Um, so they have Bryce Turing do it all. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, but yeah, we got a decent team. Can't stay healthy. There's Shia LaBeouf. Pitching is... Uh, can't keep our pitchers. Woodruff is still out. Um, Freddie Peralta wasn't himself in the beginning of the season. Just traded for uh, Montas, which I don't mind because we got rid of Joey Weimer, and he just, yeah, didn't prove himself here. So I'm fine with that. Yamamoto. Yeah, so those cards in Series 2 wasn't the best, but this Alec Bohm bomb is the bomb. That is cool. And the Evan Carter short print, I'll take. Still hoping for the Otani one. I'm still looking for base Nolan Arenado. Complete a set. And then the, yeah, the Otani base Arenado. And the oversized Aaron Judge card. All right, Mike Trout, that's a good one. Pete Alonzo, Jose Barrios. Fernando Tatis, and Jose Ramirez. So the Mike Trout one goes, even though he just tore his meniscus or whatever, he's up for the season. Peter Alonzo's hard to get, for me at least, opening up all these. 
Hadley Rushman. There's another one that's super hard for me to get. Now I'm getting them all. That's so funny. Justin Steele, Byron Buxton, Aaron Nola, Luis Robert. That is that is pretty funny because I just bought a had to buy a Justin Steele and had to buy an Ali Rushman. So it's a complete another master set. Didn't think I was gonna ha see these again at Costco. And yeah, Clayton Kershaw, Corey Seager, Shohei. He always sells. Max Scherzer and Manny Machado. So box one down, success. I'll take it. Let's show you how tiny they're still going for four bucks a piece. If anybody would like to know, way after. Um, so yeah, four bucks. Pretty much made 12% of your money back on just a Shohei base flagship card. Oh, it just flopped out, and it's the one I get so much of, and I will take. I can't get the Otani short print one, but I can pull Yamamoto's short print one like it's absolutely nothing. So this goes for 15 bucks. Sold many, many, many of these on eBay. I think I've sold, this will be my sixth one now. And the Staying steady at um, 15. I've sold one for 30, sold one for 25, and then the last like three have been right at 15. So, right there, made half the money back. Bye bye, Noelle. You're being taken down. 38. And, oh, Yankee. Is it Judge? It is. Yes, I need this one. So, that's cool. I'll take it. Already a wing box, in my opinion. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Just like that. And we haven't even gotten to the packs yet. And that's why I love the Costco boxes. It's like you can buy two hanger boxes for this price. Maybe it's a little bit more. Hangers are what? Going to cost you about $27. Um, these are, you know, $33, $34. But the hangers have, what, the, what is this? 10 packs, 14 cards of packs with 140 hangers or what, 70 some cards? So you get the same amount of cards, but then you get the flagship and the oversized cards, and that's where you can make a lot of money. Mark McGuire on the 35th. And like all these cards, like I did the math on if you make complete sets and you sell them for 30 bucks, 350 cards a set, 30 bucks, it's like eight and a half cents per card. Which is outrageous if you just make the set. But the boils, doyles, those are like a half a cent if you really think about it. But if you sell it, it's eight and a half because people just like sets. And then you also get, you know, your Ellie's in the first first series and your Jason Dominguez and the Motos in the series two. Which raise up, you know, that average price, but I'm fine with getting rid of base Yamamoto's and Shota's to sell a boil for eight and a half cents. There's Tark School, beast he is. There's Jason Dominguez. So I'll take another Jason Dominguez, Ty Cobb on the Grand Gamers. Don't know if I have this one. It's actually a pretty cool card. So nothing out of Series 1 in this box, but the first box, that was, that was a surprise with the Mother's Day of Alex. Boom, bam. Yeah, we'll take that, having himself a season. Junior Camonero on the top gold, so we're hitting the top gold. And I thought that was Doyle Boyle or whatever his name is, but a Nick Allen purple. I'll take it. I think this card probably goes for more. Can't wait for him to be called up. Still waiting. He just got healthy. Still on my bench. And then this one, Nick Galen. Don't know too much about him, how he's doing in the season. Can't be too great because, what is he, shortstop? So, I mean, you have a lot of players that 
are going to be traded for the from the A's. But when they move to Vegas, who knows? But Rooker, Galoff, all those guys, they have some players. I hope the A's can turn it around and become good again. Like the late 80s, early 90s, I believe it was. Jose Canseco. Moneyball. Good movie. Brad Pitt and Jonah Hill. Pete Alonzo on the Fantasy Favorites. And Shohei. Kind of want to make like a Shohei Stars of the MLB kind of set and not set, but like just put a big lot of random Shohei's together and see how much they go for. That would be pretty cool. All right, let's get into it. Albert Pujols on the All-Star. And another Junior Cameron to go with the Chrome. Uh, making the Chrome set, I should have never sold some of them. But I just decided, hey, I gotta have the Master set, right? So I gotta do the Chrome. Starts at MLB. And I have a really good amount of them from these, so. Slowly but surely we're gonna get there, and I still haven't pulled that Jackson Churro short print yet, so still waiting on that. Just to randomly pop up and surprise me and be like, yes, this, this is a great day. Mason wins, so. Junkie back. Um, not buying too much of Chrome. I'll just buy all the Jackson Churros and the one cards that I want. Saving money by doing that. Plus flagship to get more for the price, I believe, in my personal opinion. It's just you're not going to get that huge, huge hit like you do in Chrome, though. Christian Yelich on the tops, Chrome. Nothing crazy going on so far in this box, but we still have two more packs in the flagship. I did hit that Judge in the Yamamoto short print, so I'll take out those oversized Aaron Judge cards, go for like 10 bucks for some reason. People pay Aaron Judge cards like it's nothing. Like he's Otani. I mean, he is good, but like I'm not going to pay a oversized card of Aaron Judge base one for 10 bucks. Sorry. Not gonna do it. That's pretty nice though. Just trying to complete all the oversized and companion cards and sell them off. So I think that's one of the two I needed. So I will take it. Oh, and we get a backwards card. Is it gonna be a rainbow? Francisco Lindor, it's not a bad one. It is a rainbow. But it's not a bad rainbow. A little damaged on the side. Is what it is. So yeah, not a lot of, um, besides a Mother's Day, not a lot of parallels. Usually there's retail blue flowing out of here. Didn't we get a retail blue? Yeah, I put it in the parallel pile, but. So yeah, cheers on. Yeah. The Yamamoto. Yeah, I don't know how much that uh, bum goes for, but we'll see. Jose Ramirez, Shane McClanahan, Senga, Phillips, and Curtis Mead. Jose Ramirez always telling himself a amazing season. This guy's an absolute beast. Let's hit some color or carrying the flag. Haven't hit a carrying the flag this year. I haven't had color in a while, so Sal Freelick, Ronnie, and Yamamoto, so that's a good one. Still sells. The Shotas, they sell for about buck seventy-five on eBay. So Josh Young, another hard one to get. Pablo Lopez, Nolan Jones, Mookie Betts, and Matt Olson to finish it up. So yeah, hopefully you liked the video. Hit that like, subscribe, do whatever you need to do. Thanks to all my subscribers that keep tuning in and keep watching this. God, let's go rips and me drinking a beer and 
talking baseball. So cheers, everybody. This is to you. And we'll see you next time. Peace.